I am a firm believer that creativity is an addiction. I talk with more creative people around the world every day. I'll bring it up. Some people will admit that it is. Other people will say, yeah, but it's, it's a good thing, this creativity. I didn't say it was a bad thing. I just said that at two, three o'clock in the morning, when your mind is going, I want to create, you've got to be able to patiently and like a parental figure say, you need to go back to bed. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. I've got such filthy habits. Before we start recording, the first thing I do is I go to my smartphone to see if anybody has written to me. It takes me out of the mindset of being in the presence of now when I've got to take care of this filthy habit. Or I'll sit here and I'll look and find out how much warm water I've got to my left side. What's going on outside this window? Is there anything moving? Because I don't want something to grab my attention and take my attention off from the game. And it's like, wait a second, dude, you haven't even started what you were supposed to do and you're already gut checking everything. And so, but that's just who I am. They're filthy habits in the way of, okay, is everything in place everything look good smell good my dog is behind me my dog is always with me no matter what step i take she's always with me i call her my black panther because she walks like a black panther she's very very protective of of that guy that guy that walks into a room and talks into this funky looking thing and he thinks he's talking with people she likes that guy <laughs> hey it's harrow this is the daily mess a chronological walk through an everyday world i am a daily writer i take things and I put thought into them. Too much thought sometimes? Probably. But you learn from it. And you learn how to break it down. There have been those days of writing. If I didn't have my discipline, then I, I would have been a, a, you know, in a really kooky mood. Because when, when, you, when you dry yourself completely up when it comes to creative energy, all of a sudden you're just like, uh, uh. you can't even laugh at your favorite sitcom or your binge watch. Because, because your creativity is, uh, it's gone. It's gone. And you've got to be able to be aware of that kind of stuff. This is the Daily Mess. Well, here we are. Back to a time limit lifestyle. You familiar with what that is? You've only got so much time to get your junk done. A time limit lifestyle. The blessed gift of just roaming around has been set aside leading to a more disciplined, timed-out life. Well, it keeps me better focused, yet it drives me insane. I know the window. To get to it and through it isn't improv or shape-shifting or even ad-libbing. The day is planned out long before I get here. The goal and or job isn't to just show up, but to be fully executed the way that it was laid out. L- let, me, let me explain. It's like being part of a live stage performance. I have my scripts. Don't wander off them. The mission must meet perfectly with yesterday's ambition. There's a reason why I show prep the day before. There are reasons why I fill my Google Calendar out weeks and months ahead of time. I know I can't roam. I'm not very good at just roaming. It's, it's, it's just not a comfortable place for me. And on these days where I didn't get to lay things out the way that I wanted to, I get lost. And when I get lost, that's when my emotions become tangled up. I wish you could see my daily prep for all my interviews today. I have five interviews. They're all going to take place within a two and a half hour window, starting with Holly Robinson Pete. You familiar with her? Actress, now a book author. Uh, Renee Fleming who is a opera singer. I mean, I've got all of these. Nick Quested, who's got a brand new show coming up. Hell of a Cruise. I mean, it's, it's just, there's, but look at the writing. It is so messy that as, as the performer, I'm going to be looking at this in, in, in the minutes ahead, and I'm going to be trying to figure out what, what went on during those moments of just being a roamer yesterday. And, and when, when you find out that you are roaming, that's when you've got to refocus. In fact, in my defrag journal yesterday, it physically says, where is your defrag focus? Where are you in this moment of now? Now, normally on a defrag journal day, I'll put in maybe seven to 10 pages of writing. I only did one yesterday. All of that roaming and I got lost. So, so I'm going to ask you again, back to a time limit lifestyle time limit lifestyle how do you run your life and are you more focused when you only allow yourself so much time to get stuff done 
And getting to that moment, is it is it going to interfere with the creative mind that you hold if, if you're not being able to roam wherever you want to go? And it's so funny because I had this great lunch yesterday with my wife. We went and had sushi. Oh, my God. Just all you can eat sushi at Mr. Tokyo's. And, and, and then she goes, well, what do you want to do now? Wait, I, that, that question was not on my calendar. I, I, I don't know. And so, so all of a sudden we began roaming, running around, wasting gas, wasting time because we were out there just roaming. How do you feel about that? How do you deal with those moments where, where it's like you lose your focus and you find out that when, when you're on the road, you're going, what are we doing out here? Why can we just go home to the forest and we'll go for the long walks through the forest and listen to the birds? Sounds kind of boring, doesn't it? No, it is a time limit lifestyle. You put yourself in a time limit and you, you build your day before you get to that day. I'm Arrow and that's the Daily Mess.